Today we are taking a look at Maya Config and Maya Config Pro Ani, which are two add-ons for Blender developed by Form Affinity. If you are a Maya user and you are making the jump to Blender, because let's be honest, probably you want to do that even if you are still using Maya, this add-on can help you make your transition a lot more smoother. It offers a lot of changes to the layout and interface of Blender to accommodate for the Maya user experience because some people find it extremely difficult to learn Blender, especially if they are doing that from scratch, and this tool is great if you want to straighten out the learning curve. Maya Config comes with interface and layout changes. It provides a full list of Maya hotkeys in Blender, as well as a theme for the complete Maya look. The developer also released Maya Config Pro Ani, which accommodates the animation workflow for Maya users. However, you need to have Maya Config Pro installed before you will be able to use the other add-on, which is Maya Config Ani. Some of Maya's Config Pro's main features are, of course, the interface and layout changes, but there are also a ton of shortcuts and tools, such as the new tool shelf for easy access to functionalities, like adding primitive objects and simple operations, such as loading a reference or background image, opening and saving files which have dedicated buttons, and so on. You can also switch between multiple types of shelves depending on what you are working on. For example, if you are modeling, you can pick Polygon or Edit Poly Tools shelf, but if you are working on something else like NURBS, rendering or effects, you can pick one of those and all your operators will change to reflect that. And talking about different types of shelves, once you install Maya Config Pro Ani, you will see a new shelf here labeled Animation. This shelf helps you speed up your animation workflow by providing all the shortcuts you will need to work on your rigs and animations. For instance, you can now easily link any model in just few clicks using the operator link and make a proxy of the top shelf. You have also an option to add armature, pose your characters, and a new option to snap any object to the ground level. Amongst other features like the ability to split 3D viewport, the display timeline in addition to the graph editor. Furthermore, dope sheet and drivers editor can be pop-up windows with one click as well as a dedicated animation pie menu. To install the add-on you have to do few things. First, there are a couple of files you need to copy from the add-on folder and you need to put them in the Blender installation folder. The first folder is labeled config and you need to copy and paste it inside the program files and then you go to Blender Foundation. And depending on your Blender version, this might be different. For example, if you have Blender 3.1, you should see a folder named 3.1, and you need to put the config file in there. The second thing you need to do is to copy all the Python scripts and the add-on folder to your startup folder under Blender Foundation, and then the version number, scripts, and then startups. Now you can fire off Blender, and immediately you will notice that the layout is different. You have a Maya display panel on the left side and clicking the right mouse button on the viewport should invoke the marking radio menu which provides you with quick access to frequently used commands like edge, face and vertex selection in addition to object mode toggle, inverse selection and so on. Also the spacebar now activates the quad view pie menu where you can find the activate camera toggle button and orthographic view controls. There is also the Maya display panel, which you can use to switch the 3D cursor on and off. In addition to the option to toggle symmetry or render an image and links for tutorials and educational content. Another great feature is that QWER keys are set to select box, move, rotate and scale widgets respectively. In this last version, Alt plus middle mouse button has been added to the UV editor for pan and zoom. But wait, here is more. To install the key map, go ahead and open preferences and under the key map tab, click import and from the add-on folder, choose FA underscore hotkeys and hit install. This will load all the key maps you will need to simulate the Maya key map like holding alt to rotate and pan, etc. Similarly, to install the Maya theme, under the themes tab, click install, navigate to the theme folder, select a theme and hit install. Now, for the Maya Config Pro Addy, which is created as the name suggests for more animation functionalities, like animation shelf, animation pie menu, graph editor hotkeys, and animation tools. For example, you can now toggle the timeline visibility with the timeline toggle button. In addition, you have dedicated radial FA animation menu. You can also, as mentioned before, append, link, and make proxies easily by using the shortcut buttons in the top shelf or the pie menu. Furthermore, you can use detach windows for the graph editor, analyte editor, dope sheet editor, graph editor, and drivers editor. So, 
If you are looking for the best way to transition from Maya to Blender, this add-on is your best option because it incorporates a lot of Maya hotkeys with layout changes that make Maya users feel right at home. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.